long time. Oh, listen, I'm loving it. You know, it feels like I'm involved in a big fight again. Um, as I touched on there in the stage, you know, it feels like we've been starved to these things for the last couple of years, boxing in front of closed halls and, you know, just limited crowds and things like that, you know. So, yeah, it feels like a, a, the way boxing should be, involved in big fights. So, I mean, just enjoying the, the ride, enjoying the ride in my career, you know. Um, I'm not going to be here for much longer or forever, you know. I'm not going to be here for another 10 years. So I'm enjoying the ride while I can and enjoying every moment of it. Are you finding the weight making? Because it's been a while since obviously you've Piece had to make weight. Piece of piss. Piece of piss. I, I can be career 140 pounder my whole, my whole career. I could make, in fact, I could probably make a say I could probably go down to 135 if I really wanted to. But, you know, it's, I, I'm making the weight comfortable, so comfortable. And even better now, I've got a nutritionist on board and doing everything for me, you know, putting the right fuels in me and the right time. And you know this camp has been amazing. I've been smashing PBs and and everything I'm doing because I'm getting the right fuel, mate, at the right time, but being right rehydrated all the time. So yeah, making the, making the weight no issue. Josh, how did you find the reaction from the Scottish fans? Really got behind you yesterday's workout. You stay behind to speak to them. Yeah, brilliant. You know, obviously because it feels like it'd be the way boxing should be and the big fight should be. You know, it feels like. Uh, Boxing's back, you know, um, everyone's there and saw the crowd and I just come to life, so yeah, it was amazing, amazing. Josh, you did, you did speak to a fan yesterday, you give this girl who was there really early for you, yeah. a lot of your time, took some pictures. How much does that mean to you to give back to the fans and to give that sort of girl yeah. a, a moment to remember? So, well, that was actually this, the highlight of my day, really, because, you know, my mum said that she'd been waiting there for a couple of hours for me. And, Half nine, I think. You know, yeah, she'd I been waiting there for a few hours, yeah. yeah. We got in was she? Yeah, it was that early. I got in at quarter past nine, she was already sat. Oh, what a shame, what a blesser. Um, just bless her soul, you know, obviously so excited to come and see me and you know, when I seen her reaction when she, she got to meet me and I gave her a cuddle and she gripped tight and you know, I gave her a wee cuddle and a little kiss and it just it makes me so happy that I'm making people's people's day like that, you know, and so I like to spend as much time with the fans as possible, you know, and if it was up to me, I'd have been there all day signing things and, and doing things and, and giving people my time because they're my support. And without without the friends and the the family and the, the support that I, I receive, it wouldn't have been nothing. You know, it's, the support is what is what makes it for me. You know, it's, it, it makes it more special for me. Josh, you're regarded as one of the top five greatest fighters of this era and probably the greatest Scottish fighter ever. What does that mean to you? It's brilliant, you know. Um, I also don't, I don't think of myself like that, you know. I'm, I'm too tunnel vision, but you know, I'm, I'm proud to be putting Scotland on the map and, you know, and, and be up there with the, with the greats, you know. Be up there with, I'm very, very proud of the fact that I've, I've got the same titles and the same title as one of my heroes in Ken Buchanan, and become an undisputed world champion. So, yeah, it's, um, it's great that, you know, I'm, I'm continuing the legacy for great Scottish fighters and and inspiring a, a generation after me. Josh, what fights would you say you've learned the most from throughout your career? Uh, I've said this in a number of times, I would say the, the postal fight, um, that was one where I hadn't boxed at world level yet. Um, I'd, I'd been in sparring with world level fighters and all that and been in tournaments all over the world and performing at world championships, the Olympics, Commonwealth Games, but I hadn't been at professional top level. You know, and a, an introduction to it was, was Victor Postel and I learned a lot in that fight about myself and um, and an experience and told me I learned a lot of experience in there as well. So that was a valuable fight for me in, in my development. Uh, you said in the gloves are, gloves are off, you saw self-doubt from Jack. What did you see from him today? Yeah, he's, he's, he's nervous. He's got nervous energy. He's, hit, he's, he's a couple of days now, we're, we're hours away now from him getting the ring well, well, big in a big fight, a massive fight, you know, so you can tell he's a little bit nervous. Josh, just in terms of um, when you were saying you don't want to be famous, recognition's a different thing. You talked about um, the Sports Personality of the Year Award. You're one of the only few to ever go undisputed. Do you, do you get annoyed at that lack of recognition from those types of events and, and, and people no, in general? No, I, I, don't, I don't really be around all these celebrities and all that. Anyway, I'm not really bothered about it, but um, to be disregarded, I, thought, I think it's disrespectful. You know, disrespectful with last year, Nobody did anything what I did last year in terms of sporting achievements, you know, and uh, no one's ever did what I've did in British boxing. And uh, to not even get a mention about it, no, about, I, don't even, I don't even watch it, I don't even know if I've got a mention on the thing or anything, but 
to not even get a mention about it or even spoke about it is, is just disrespectful. Can I just ask, I saw a video that uh, came back up again. You, when you were in Vegas, you spent time with Tyson Fury, you were body sparring him. What do you remember from that experience? Oh, that was just a, a bit of banter, you know, with the big lad, you know, he was just you know, getting away. He was like hitting a big heavy bag, you know, I think uh, he's used to getting hit from big, strong men, you know, so me hitting him, uh, I think he was getting stung with a bee, you know what I mean? So uh, uh, it, was, uh, it, was, it was a good laugh.